Welcome to High Biz News. This is Kangsha Gangapuram, and you're watching National Business News. Wealth managers have embraced shifting clients' demands during the pandemic, prioritizing digital engagements and hyper personalization preference to provide comprehensive advice and capture assets growth across the wealth spectrum. In 2022, firms will compete on the next wave of the growth within the products, including digital assets, ESG, and custom indexing, client segment involving emerging high net worth investors and women, and service model comprising holistic advice, digital engagement and fee modernization. Against the backdrop of a changing regulatory environment and looming disruption from the big tech, incumbents must balance retain existing assets with growth opportunities as firms building and deepen relationship with the next-gen investors. 2022 trends are digital assets became mainstream, number 2 ESG the new normal, custering indexing the next battleground, attacking Zen next clients, Women's in wealth, digitalizing for growth, modernizing fees, industry consolidation sets to continue, financial advisor, success plan, SEC regulatory agenda now or never. YouTube announced the launch of the Next Up class of 2022, an initiative to help the next generation of YouTube creators convert their passion into viable business on YouTube. This year, Next Up will feature 20 creative individuals from across the country who create content in diverse languages including Hindi, Tamil, Marathi, Kannada, Tamil and even engineers ranking from art and crafts, automotive, DIY entertainment, farming, fashion and beauty, finance, gaming, learning, lifestyle, tech and travel. As part of the program, the cohort of emerging creators will participate in an intensive three-week creator camp where they will be refined their content production skills and learn how to create superior engaging content for the viewers and strategic to grow their channel. Participating creators will receive a deep drive training in multi-form content creation, scripting, content planning, production, design, editing, building, community, branding and monetization. They will also have the opportunity to network a building community with each other and next up alumni and other creators. Bro Bazaar, India's tech-enabled B2B digital platform for real estate builders and brokers, is appointing Jitendra Nair as the CFO consultant and mentor of the company. In his new position, Nair will aim to expand the company's range of investors funding opportunity. He will also be the responsible for expanding the Bro Bazaar platform across Pan India. In addition, he will be charged of handling the essential aspects of Bro Bazaar financial departments, including budgeting, accounts, payables. On the occasion of his appointment, Neha Kapoor, founder at the Bro Bazaar, commented that we are thrilled to welcome Jitendra Nair to our team as we get closer to several significant junctures in our journey. He is a leader who reflects our ideal thanks to his board knowledge and expertise in variety of industries. He concurs with our philosophy and enthusiasm for democratizing real estate. As we increase our reach and develop a long-term business with a strong team and on tech-enabled platform, Nair's track record will have a big influence on us. With Jitender on board, we have committed to offering a better service. The world's leading new energy vehicle manufacturer, BYD, announced the opening of its first passenger vehicle showroom in Mohali and its eighth showroom in India. The showroom located in Mohali is managed by Krishna BYD. The showroom was inaugurated by Mr. Sachit Pasi, partner Krishna BYD, Mr. Sanjay Gopalakrishnan, Senior Vice President of Electric Passenger Vehicle Business BYD India, in presence of the senior officials of BYD India and Krishna BYD. Krishna BYD will provide consumers in Mohali access to BYD's pure electric vehicles and high-quality services. With considerable experience in the automobile industry, Krishna BYD has extensive reach with its business covering neighboring region. Residents in Mohali will now be able to access first-class products and sustainable automotive solutions within the city. Spreaded across 3,500 square feet, the showroom with 3S faculty has well-trained technicians, service equipment, service base, EV charging stations, a consumer launch and a showroom display floor offering customers the best-in-store experience. Sterling and Wilson Renewable Energy Limited SWRE announced that it has won an order from the NTPC Renewable Energy Limited NTPC REL for its proposed 1255 MWAC 
1568 MWDC solar PV projects at Kadawada Ari Power Park ran of Gujarat. SWRE has emerged as L1 bidder in competitive bidding against the tender invited by the NTPC REL and has been awarded the contract on October 1, 2022, with a total value of 2,212 crores. A contract agreement for the project has been signed between NTPC REL and SWRE. The project's scope of working includes design, engineering, supply, construction, erection, testing, and commissioning, along with a three year operation and maintenance contract. Mr. Amit Jain, the global CEO of Sterling and Wilson Renewable Energy Group, said, We are excited to win this prestigious order from NTPC REL, which is our largest domestic order to date. This win demonstrates the trust and leadership of the SWRE's project management capabilities and global expertise. Our understanding of customers' needs to excellent execution track records coupled with world-class technology and O&M proficiency is what differentiates us from the other EPC players. At 7.41%, consumer inflation in the economy continues to remain defined due to increasing food prices. The future trajectory of the inflation is on the upside, pressurized by import inflation arising from the sharp rupee depreciation. Price pressure on the importance of crude oil shall have a cascade impact on other items of the basket too. Additionally, factors such as the transmission of input cost and pickups in consumer demand supported by service sector recovered would further add to inflationary risk in the coming months. With the inflation levels consistent remaining ahead of 4% CPI, targeted level of the RBI oft off and turn monetary policy rate, action remains a possibility. The degrowth in the industrial production in August was primarily due to high base and softening in consumer durable and non-durable segments. However, expect for a few deterrents due to the seasonal factors, the industrial production in the economy would continue to expand in the coming months, supported by arrival in the consumer's demand, the governments of CAPEX push and improved capacity utilization. Robust credit growth and strong domestic demand at the current juncture hold promise for a better number in the near future. Thank you for watching. Signing off. Keep watching Hybis News.